Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is called problem solving. We're going to do some decimal operations and we're going to be using the strategy that's working backwards. So how can we use a strategy to work backwards to solve a multi-decimal problem solving uh, thing? So uh, don't forget all your lessons can be found at uh, MrMathBlog.com. Alright, here we go. Uh, Amelia spent $15.99 for two books and three pens. The books cost $4.95 each. Remember, there's two of them, so we're going to multiply that times two, and the sales tax was $1.22. Amelia also used a coupon for 50 cents. Well, that's what we take off the price to offer purchase. So if each pen had the same cost, how much did each pen cost? Remember, she did three pens. So let's unravel that with a few questions. What do we need to find? Well, that's always this last little piece right here. How much each pen cost right there? Okay, so what info are we going to use? Well, there were two books, and each book was $4.95, so we'll multiply that times two. And the tax was $1.22, and then the coupon that we take off is $0.50, cents, and all of that is going to total how much she spent, $15.99. Okay, so how are we going to use this? Well, we'll try it with a flow chart. I'll show you what that is. Um, uh, to show the information so it just displays how we did this and then we'll work backwards with that flow chart to find the cost of each pin okay so let's make a flow chart to show the information and then we'll use inverse operations and work backwards to solve the problem so here's the problem right here okay so we're looking for the cost of three pins so those three pins plus the cost of those two books plus the sales tax minus that coupon right there that's going to equal that total amount spent right there okay so it's going to be three times the cost of each pen whatever the pens cost that's what we're looking for plus two times the cost of the book so we'll put the 495 in right there the amount of tax is going to be that dollar twenty two the coupon is fifty cents and she spent $15.99. So let's put all that information in there. Okay, so it's going to get kind of messy here. We're just going to work backwards. So we're going to start here and go backwards. So the total amount spent, instead of minus, we'll add the coupon. Instead of plus, we'll uh, minus the tax. And instead of plus, we'll uh, minus the two books. And that'll give us the total cost of the three pins right there. Okay, so here it is, just going backwards. The total cost plus the coupon minus the tax minus the two books and that's going to equal those the cost of those three pins right there okay so this just equals all of this going backwards right here okay all right so the cost of the two books this is going to go 990 right here okay so let's put the numbers in so the total amount uh, she spent is 15.99 the coupon's 50 cents the tax is $1.22 both those books is 990 and then if we add and subtract all those that's going to equal how much all three pens cost. So let's just add and subtract from left to right. $15.99 plus $0.50 cents is $16.49 minus $1.22 is $15.27. You can see I did that over here. $15.27 minus $9.90 is going to get us uh, $5.37. Okay. Now that $5.37 is for all three pins. So if we take that and divide it by three, that will find the cost of each pin. So put in $5.37 divided by three. You can see I did that over here we get a dollar seventy nine right there so uh, the cost of each pen is a dollar seventy nine all right let's try another one you guys one more so last week Jaden spent a total of twenty dollars he spent nine ninety five on a t-shirt five ninety five for uh, a sandwich and the rest for two games if each game costs the same how much did the games cost okay so we'll start off with the two games we're going backwards the two games plus the sandwich plus the t-shirt is going to equal that total amount spent or 20 bucks right there so two games plus the t-shirt plus the sandwich uh, is going to equal that twenty dollars right there so let's work backwards we'll go twenty dollars minus the 595 minus the 995 that's going to equal the cost of the two games right there okay so the two games you take the twenty you subtract off those guys and that'll tell us how much the two games cost okay so uh, add and subtracting from left to right if we subtract those we get 1005 uh, and then subtract 595 we get 410 remember that's for two games so if we take that and divide it by two we find out each game cost uh, two dollars and five cents all right I've been getting some questions on who am I well that's me and my beautiful wife take care you guys